I've been treating COVID patients since it started. It has been very difficult stress-wise. They're so sick. We don't have the staff to take care of um, the large amount of patients that are ending up with COVID. We're providing the best care we possibly can and we're all working as a team to provide care, um, but it's definitely wearing on staff and you can tell. It's been a, a bit to deal with. We are right now seeing quite a bit of unvaccinated people for our intensive care for COVID, um, immunocompromised people, people who have asthma or other comorbidities also are really at risk. I've seen several people in their 30s get intubated with COVID. It does put things into perspective when you see somebody in your age range in the bed ventilated. Um, and not as many of them these days are having all those comorbidities as they used to. So um, sometimes we'll have pretty healthy 30 year olds, you know, in the bed next to us. And it just kind of makes you like, oh, wow, this this could have been me. I think the hardest part is just seeing the, the stress and the toll that it takes on the patients and the families and wishing that you could do more for them. If they choose to be intubated, we try to get the family on phone or Skype um, and have them say goodbye. It's, it's hard for us just to even watch, so I can't even imagine what the patients are feeling while they're saying their goodbyes. You know, not everybody will come off the vent and survive. So. It's kind of a unknowing goodbye for a lot of people and I feel like that's what um, kind of hits home for most people. People just really need to know how important it is to get vaccinated so you don't have those conversations with family. It's very draining. It's hard to see staff that are very resilient, you know, fall apart and, and can't provide care because they've been affected PTSD from taking care of a COVID patient that was so sick. The community, their actions on, you know, not getting vaccinated directly impacts us. They get COVID and then that's a room occupied by a COVID patient. And then if somebody that doesn't get COVID that ends up ill um, or needs to be in the ICU, we do not have a bed for them. I guess my hope is that people, you know, educate themselves on the vaccine and decide what's best for them and their families. Um, and just kind of keep in mind the impact that it has on other people also.